Oh, what would a unit of study in chemistry be like without stoichiometry to do, hey? Okay, so here's a reaction that's occurring in solution. We've got sulfuric acid and it's reacting with sodium hydroxide. And here's the question as it may be worded on a test, okay? So you've got 10 milliliters of sulfuric acid of a 0.15 mole per liter concentration. And it is titrated by a solution of sodium hydroxide and equivalence point is reached, or the end point is reached, where the color changes in solution, uh, when 20 milliliters of the base is added to the acid. What is the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution? So that might be the question. Okay, so how do you approach answering that? The first thing to do is write a balanced chemical equation. So here it is right here, sulfuric acid, sodium hydroxide, I do double replacement to make Na2SO4 and 2H2Os or 2HOHs. When I balance the reaction, I've got 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. Hey, chem guy, you just talked to me about net ionic equations and how this could be turned into a net ionic equation. Yeah, I know, but here's the thing. If you are doing stoichiometry, try to use the non-ionic equation when you can. I think it's best, and I'll tell you why. Because a lot of people in this case would say, okay, well, wait a minute. What would be the net ionic equation for this right here? And what it would be is H positive plus OH negative makes HOH, which is a neutralization reaction, but that's balanced in a one-to-one -one ratio for acid to base. And that's not correct in this case where we have a one-to-two ratio. So here's the deal. Don't do solution stoichiometry with the net ionic equations. Just do your stoichiometry with a good old-fashioned non-ionic equation. Best way to do it. Okay, so. Where do I start with this question? Look, look, it, it, you break it down for yourself. It's, it's not that bad. Because when you look at this information here, moles per liter and liters, which is what both of those can be turned into, right? That will give you moles. And if you can then remember that the equation speaks molish, for every one mole here, you got two moles here, you'll be able to find the moles here. Moles divided by the liters here gives you the concentration. How can we write that in one line? You watch. I like to start with this information obviously here because this is the one that's going to give us moles and I'll start with the thing that's in non-ratio form. So 10.0 milliliters and then, and we don't put H2SO4 because remember volumes don't have their, uh, their chemicals next to them to describe them in the stoichiometry. So 10.0 milliliters and you know what? We don't really want milliliters, we want liters, hey? So there's a thousand of those for every one of those. So, and by the way, you could turn that right away to 0 0.0100 liters, but look, I'm just doing it, I'm just, I'm just doing it. Okay, so now we've got the volume in liters, and what don't we want? Liters. What do we want? Moles. And it's 0 0.15 moles of H2SO4, right, per liter. Okay. So now what have we got? We've got the moles. When we do this cancellation, we've got moles of H2SO4. We don't want moles of H2SO4. What do we want? We want the moles of the NaO, NaOH, NaO. And what's the ratio of reaction between the two? Two to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you use something to answer this question like C1V1 equals C2V2, you're going to miss out on that ratio. So just do it this way. It's really smart. Okay, so now, what don't we want? We don't want moles of that, we want concentration in moles per liter. Ah, so what are we gonna put down the bottom here? Hey, Kim guy, I'm just gonna write it in liters, zero decimal, zero, two, zero, zero. Look, I kept my number of significant digits, three here, three here. But what do you put on top? Hey, don't worry, don't freak, it's okay. We are really dividing moles by liters, so multiplying by one over. So that's, look at that, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. So when you do this math, right here and you calculate the concentration of the NaOH, you're going to get, and I'm pretty sure that I'm right here, you're going to get, you're going to get 0 0.15 mole per liter NaOH. And why is that? Why does that make sense? Well, hey, look, if you've got a 1 to 2 ratio of reaction between the acid and the base, and you've got twice as much of this base as acid, they're probably going to be the same concentrations. Is that logical to you? Well, okay, do the math here, and you're going to get 0.15 mole per liter NaOH. Solution stoichiometry.